Well, that's a broad question, but the simple path to wealth is fundamentally using index funds, specifically broad-based uh, stock index funds when you're accumulating your wealth, and then balanced off with a little bit of broad-based bond index funds to smooth the ride when you're living on your portfolio. The research is conclusive that index funds are the most powerful way to build wealth in the stock market. If you understand well, what an index fund does, if you take, for instance, the S&P 500 index fund, which is perhaps the most common and the most popular, or the total stock market index fund, VTSAX, which I personally have a slight preference for. The idea is the index funds buys every stock in the index. Doesn't try to guess which companies or which stocks are gonna outperform or underperform. And that's what works best, but it's counterintuitive because you think back, and this is incidentally the thing that kept me away from index funds for a decade while I sorted this out in my head, unfortunately, but it just seems that it'd be so easy to choose which companies are gonna do better or to just not buy the dogs and, and, and by definition you would outperform the index. But the research is absolutely clear, that doesn't happen. And I think the reason it doesn't happen, as I speculate about it, is that today's dogs are tomorrow's exciting turnaround stories. And today's high flyers are sometimes the ones that we're then reading have crashed and burned. Building the portfolio, if you're following my simple path to wealth, building the portfolio is the soul of simplicity because you really only need two funds. You need VTSAX, which is the total stock market index fund, and that's for building your wealth. And when the time comes, you might want to add the total bond market index fund, which is VBTLX. So those are the only two you need. It gets a little more complex because we have these things called 401ks and, and 403b plans and TPS plans if you work for the government. And they may or may not offer these kinds of funds, so you have to do a little bit of fine tuning to try to get there as closely as you can. But those are the tools that you use to build and to maintain the wealth. If you have enough wealth, you have control of your time. So ultimately, time is the one thing that we can never have more of. We all have a fixed number of hours in the day. We all have a fixed lifespan, although we don't know exactly what our lifespan is going to be. Um, one more reason, in my view, to buy your freedom, because when you buy your freedom, by definition, what you're buying is control over your time. But of course, that takes money, that takes wealth. So the two are very closely linked.